Good afternoon everyone, I hope uh, you are doing very well. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to introduce uh, arbitrage pricing theory ATT and uh, three factor model. Uh, we, we were discussing about uh, CAPM uh, portfolio um, selection and pro portfolio creation theory and this is in line uh, uh, in, the, in the same line uh, how to make portfolios of the assets and a different theory, the different theoretical models have been proposed. So, what, what is what it is about arbitrage pricing theory? So, remember in, in CAPM uh, we had like uh, we, we had different portfolios uh, and we were selecting portfolios based on their mean and variance optimization um, and uh, we came up with the you know security market line and uh, um, um, the portfolio which lies on that is the optimal portfolio and, and bunch of things. And with the with the bunch of uh, assumptions with the CAPA model. In the arbitrage pricing theory, it just simply says that each stock's return depends um, on uh, different macroeconomic factors or the influence of, of different factors plus the noise factor or in mathematical term the return for a stock can be written as A plus B 1 R factor 1 the different factors you can have as many number of factors as you want to. Now, uh, APT uh, arbitrage pricing theory does not say what factors are there you can use GDP, you can use GNP, you can use some other macroeconomic factors and some noise and uh, you can characterize the return you can get uh, you can use regression models or different sort of things uh, you can you can use advanced uh, uh, empirical analysis of the stocks to get um, these uh, the values of of uh, sensitivity factor or say you know the stock is sensitive to this factor and how much sensitive it is. So, it, it is very similar to beta ok. <coughs> Now, expected risk premium for the stock is um, remember we, we said R minus RF where return on the stock and the risk free rate ok. So, that is our risk premium, but in the case of if we apply the APT what is going to be the risk premium is this way basically uh, the risk premium depends on the expected risk premium associated with each factor and the sensitivity of the stock to that factor. <coughs> we call it here B 1, but it is very similar to beta when we were discussing about cap m ok. So, you know so the arbitrage pricing theory the essential concept came from from the idea that uh, if you know you know if if your sensitivity to particular factor is 0 basically you get the risk premium which you can get uh, by investing in tables or at a risk free rate ok. Um, so, what it is if you want to apply the APT. So, step first would be to identify a reasonable short list of macroeconomic factors that could affect your stock return all right. Step 2 would be to estimate expected risk premium ok for, for each of these factors and then step third would be measure the sensitivity of a stock to these factors ok. So, these are basically three steps essentially steps. Now, how you can estimate uh, uh, the sensitivities like B 1, B 2 or risk premiums for different factors that is beyond the uh, scope of this lecture, but the idea for this lecture is to give you an introduction what it is ok. Now, in the similar uh, in the similar line think about like people have done research and they came up with the different factors. So, in the same line one of uh, the model which uh, uh, we will be studying uh, in, a, in a few minutes in this lecture would be three factor model, but before going forward in three factor model let us say you want to apply arbitrage pricing theory and you want to make a risky profit. So, as an arbitrage uh, 
manager or, or with trust portfolio manager, what you can observe or you can do, let us say if you, um, if you sense that the current price is too low for your current period or at present time, the price of an issue is too low, it can be stock bond or any sort of thing. Then what you can do, you can sort sell your portfolio position and then you get the money and you buy you buy the mispriced assets. Okay. Now, at the end of the period, your trading period, maybe one day, one week or you know, six months, whatever is your period, you sell the mispriced asset and you buy back, buy back the portfolio and you pocket the difference. It looks very simple, but in practice, it is very difficult. How you are going to identify that the price is too low. And at the same time, what is the guarantee that uh, the portfolio which you are going to sort, sort sell, uh, the price is not going to go up for that portfolio. And there are no different bunch of assumptions, I mean it is just like predicting a future. But let us say for short time, very short interval, if you have some very good statistical model, you can have, uh, you know, you can estimate that, okay, the current price is too low for this these particular stocks and um, I sell my portfolio buy these stocks and then after you know one day or you know whatever your model uh, says to you sell it off and buy back your portfolio pocket the difference. Okay. Very simple. Now other way around if you sense that current price is too high at your current time then what you do you you short sell that particular a stock whose price is too high okay? and you buy the portfolio okay? and then at the end of the trading period you sell the portfolio and buy back the uh, mispriced asset and pocket the difference. Okay? It's simple <coughs> but be careful. Okay? Uh, this is theory you know in theory we can do this way but uh, things change when, when you apply in practical or real um, capital markets. Now remember I was telling you about uh, <coughs> in APT we have uh, say different factors, okay? but APT is silent on what factors could be. right? So Pharma and Finch they, uh, <coughs> they did uh, research and found that okay, we can have three factors. One factor would be the market associated with the market risk. Another factor is associated with the size, how big is the company, the small and the big companies. And another factor they came up with the market to book ratio or book to market ratio. Okay. They call it that factor you know, to identify the growth companies versus the value companies. Okay. So, that is the, the basic. Uh, basic principle behind uh, three factor model. Okay. So, if you want to apply three factor model, it is simple three steps. You identify the market factors which are measured by the return on market index minus the risk free interest rate. Size factor which is like how big is the company, how small is the company that is measured by typically return on a small stock, a small firms stocks less than the return on large firm stocks. Okay. You can estimate that factor and then book to market factor in a similar way uh, can be measured by return on high book to market ratio stocks less than return on low book to market stocks. Okay. And then you can estimate the risk premium on for each factor and also the sensitivities uh, of uh, each factor and you put all those values into this equation. Okay. Remember that uh, how to estimate risk premiums for each factor and how to estimate factor sensitivities is beyond the scope of this lecture. I would be doing uh, the lecture how to estimate these, but that goes beyond beyond the scope of your your course in basic course in corporate finance. So idea here is to to get some idea about about these theoretical models and how uh, what what it is actually. So if you wanna 
say one of the mutual fund manager or hedge fund manager applying you know APT or three factor model, then you need to you know understand and learn how to estimate different parameters for this model. But for here it is ok to know what it is. Now, according to this three factor model what you can do um, say on, on this square you have divided the square into four parts. So, one is a small cap stocks, large cap stocks, growth stocks and value stocks and accordingly you can um, you can distribute your funds uh, in different regions or different buckets. Okay. So, what it is here um, what is the idea behind uh, uh, distributing different funds which hold different stocks or different positions in different companies equities essentially is that uh, let us say you are a mutual fund manager and uh, an investor comes to you. You can say ok would you want to invest in fund A or fund B or fund C. The associated risk and return is different for different firms. Okay. So, what it is here in the first quadrant is that it is increased risk and expected return is also high in that quadrant. Other way around is that decrease the risk and decrease the expected return. Okay. So, that sort of thing you know you can keep in mind uh, while when I'm doing three factor model right. Now, thank you very much guys um, I hope you have uh, you have learned you have enjoyed this lecture. If you are struggling with corporate finance course uh, you may contact us for private lessons and thank you for subscribing Leaf Professor YouTube channel. Um, those who have not subscribed uh, I would recommend you to subscribe Leaf Professor channel on YouTube uh, that will help you to get notified with the latest videos and also it encourages us that you guys are liking um, our videos and motivates us to create more interesting videos. Thank you once again and have a wonderful day.